Tina and Blaze. It's Rachel and Max. How are you doing? I'm looking forward to working with you guys. So this is the first video that I'm making um, to tell you a little bit about how to use the gear so you can get started right now without me. So the first thing I want to show you is what we call a wrap in T-Touch. It's basically just a tensor bandage bought from the drugstore. You should pay about six bucks for it. Get the better quality one. Um, and we use a tensor bandage to wrap around the body to have an effect on the nervous system. So we find the halfway point of the wrap. We put it on the front of the chest, bring it up, cross it over at the shoulder blades, and we can attach down at the bottom of the belly. Now this is what we call a quarter wrap. For Blaze and for Max, because they're bigger, you're going to need two, especially for Blaze because he's hairier. So just put an easy knot in one end, and then same thing, find the halfway point, front of the chest, cross on the shoulder blades, cross down again at the bottom of the ribs, and bring it up onto the top of the back. So now we have um, the full wrap applied. So it has the effect of reducing anxiety, reducing fear, reducing reactivity in dogs. It releases tension patterns in the body and so allows dogs to let go of their um, emotions associated with the tension patterns held in their body. So I've sent you a piece of sewing elastic in your kit and um, we call this a calming band. Um, you can use just plain sewing elastic or else there's also a piece of gear that works well, but I think what we need to do is start from scratch. Seeing as you said Blaze is a little bit um, not interested in his gentle leader, he's trying to take it off. So I think we should just toss out the gentle leader for now and start with something that's lighter, um, thinner, and less invasive on his mouth. Um, the reason he has a hard time with his muzzle being touched is because he has a lot of tension there and he's a, what we call a mouthy dog. So we need to release some of the tension in his face there to help him be less reactive. So you'll adjust the knot so that it, it fits his head. Up, up, Max. Come on. Up. Come for treats. Come on. Atta boy. So we start by just putting it over the head and making it so the knot is at the back and pull it up against the ears so it's right at the front. Then with one hand, we're gonna put a half a twist and put it over the dog's nose. I'm not sure if you saw that, but, okay. So put it over the head with the knot at the back, half a twist and put it over the nose. So we can do a little bit of stroking. Good boy, Maxie. A little bit of touches. And we're gonna be using the on off principle here, which means you put it on, you take it off. You put it on, feed a treat, good boy, take it off. So on off, I would say 20 or 30 times a day for now. Let him know that it's okay for it to come off. If he paws it off himself, then that's great. He's not a bad dog for taking it off. Um, you wanna put it on maybe when he's eating dinner and let him eat his dinner with it on. Put it on when you're going on your walks to try and keep him calm. I gave you the black color so it's little less invasive looking on his face. Um, so you can use the calming band, just like the wraps, in expectation of any time you might expect him to have a reaction. Okay, so that's our two methods we got so far, calming bands and wraps. 